Hi, this is a video response for Shannon Green, uh, take two. I filmed this a few days ago and then somehow lost the footage and then when Franklin retrieved the footage for me, it turns out that <laughs> I was out of frame. I'm anyway, it was, it was bad. So, <laughs> so I'm going to try again. Uh, and I apologize in advance for the sounds that you hear in the background. Uh, I'm, it's Monday, that means it's laundry day. So, yeah, you'll hear the laundry machine. And you might also hear some emails come in. Okay, so Shannon, you asked what you should do with your water bottle caps. These are actually not water bottle ones. These are caps from almond milk jugs. And I've been keeping these. I don't have a whole lot of them, but I keep... Like, I hesitate to throw them in the garbage because I keep thinking they're good for something. But I don't really know exactly what. But the other day I came up with this idea to make these kinds of flowers. And so I'm going to show you how to make these today. Um, I'm sure you can figure it out just by looking at them, but anyway. I'll show you this. And I'm going to share a few other ideas that I had on what I call a scrap attack. But uh, yeah, we'll start with the flower, which is quite simple. So basically, craft knife here or something. And it's... You know, this might actually be a little bit hard for you, Shannon, because of your wrist trouble, uh, but... So basically, and hopefully this time I am in frame, it looks like I am. Um, so basically all you do is... Cut all the way to the bottom of your cap all the way around um, and it's a little bit tough but it's not that bad and I'm not trying to be perfect or even or you know whatever uh, if you want to be you can be but you don't have to be and so yeah you just go all the way around So you probably can't really, oh there we go, okay so, and then I use these to help me bend them up, and so up, and I go pretty far, try not to break them off. This plastic is pretty, pretty strong. And so, yeah, so you're bending your petals up. Oops. Okay, so don't do what I just did and break it off completely. Be a little bit extra careful. And I guess Franklin loves me because that's the petal. <laughs> Anyway, and okay, now and that's the first one that broke like that, so I guess maybe I had cut too deep or something. I don't know, I don't know why it did that. Anyway, um, you can bend them up or down as far as you want and if you wanted to you could leave it just like that okay that's pretty flower just like that or you could even keep it on this side and I think that's okay just like that even or, or it could even be like a symbol of a sun or something if you had a yellow cap or something or you could make it yellow by painting it or something anyway or 
Or you can go a little further with this. And I prefer my petals to be rounded at the end like this. And to do that, I just used an old pair of scissors and I just cut them off a little bit. I just rounded them off a little bit by making little things in the corners. This, this part is a little bit tough, but it's doable. It's not too bad. And um, so yeah, you just you do that to each petal if you want to. And you probably want to avoid making a mini petal like that one. <laughs> too. I don't, I guess I hadn't, I wasn't paying too much attention. I was just trying to demonstrate. I wasn't trying to be good and accurate and everything. Anyway, so you can do this. I don't think you need to see me do the whole thing. So I'll be right back. Okay, so there you go. I've got, um, and again, I wasn't trying to do them all exactly the same or whatever. I just did it however. Okay, and you, so, okay, so again, you can leave it just like that. You can use it up or down, whichever way you prefer, or you can I'm going to bend that up just a little bit more. There. Uh, yeah, see, for some reason, this one's not wanting to cooperate very well. Anyway, okay. So, you can keep... You can, you can leave it like this, or you can keep going and embellish it some more make it even better so what i did next oh yes and this uh leftover that the the little bits that you just cut off and the extra petal that you <laughs> that you weren't supposed to have <laughs> um you could save that and and use it as some confetti or something and I normally probably would save it, but today I'm gonna put it in the garbage. So hold on a sec. Next, what I did with my flower was to trace a store-bought one from Michael onto a piece of paper. And then I cut that out and that's that's how I made the this part of the first one. And like on each petal, I added just a little bit of detail with a, with a colored pencil, just by making lines like that. I mean, nothing fancy. And of course, I cut it out. Now, on this one, I traced that, I traced this onto some book text and then used my used my watercolor crayons to to make it a better color this is the one in, that i did in the demo that i was trying to <laughs> i was trying to film that i was like out of i was all all the way over here and you couldn't see a thing and i was zoomed in further anyway so so yeah anyway you can so yeah, whatever paper you want to use to, to make, and you don't even have to have this to trace, you can just make so a... So you could use some pattern paper, some scrapbooking paper, whatever you like. It doesn't have to have a, a, you know, a template thing to trace, you can just make a... You could make your own design, you can just... And of course, you probably want to, okay, maybe, <laughs> okay. You can just do this and cut that out or, you know, whatever your, you could even just, just go like that. Like you could, you know, you can make it 
just a flower or you can you know whatever you like um, but today I'm going to trace this one don't need to see me do it really but anyway Okay, so you can trace that, cut it out. I have these awesome tiny scissors with very pointy edges that make cutting, fussy cutting a lot easier. And... <laughs> Sh Shannon? <laughs> the, uh, when I was trying to film this the first time, I have no idea what I was doing, but it was very, very stupid, and I somehow managed to slice my finger, to, you know, to try to snip my finger off, right here, like this. I was trying to, I was holding something in a strange way, and I was, and I trying to catch, to cut off a small piece of a string or something and I I snipped right there I, s I just phoom. but it was weird it didn't bleed or anything it was, it was very strange anyway <laughs> so and then I make a little hole in the bottom um, but yeah you can use whatever you want whatever paper you can make whatever shape you want you can use a store-bought thing you can embellish with uh, with gems or whatever instead of what I'm using you can make it as detailed or as simple as you want you can you know add some shading or some whatever where's my eraser there it is um, you probably want to trace on the back side not like I just did and you know do this but if you do do it the way I did it you probably want to erase the pencil marks and then you can yeah you can go and make some detail if you're using pattern paper you probably don't even need the detail but anyway you can be as simple or as detailed as you like is the point and just keep going. Okay, so you can do that, and you can. Oh yes, and if you do this, you probably want to use either your your blade or pair of scissors to punch a hole in the middle, and you can place it. See, and place it there. And then I used a one of these from Recollections Signature Floral Embellishments. Um, these were also from Michael's on sale one day. So I used one of those also in the center. And then uh, Brad. And that was pretty much how it went and for some reason this wants to give me trouble so you can see how pretty it is even just like this for an embellishment on something just that is kind of pretty and then you can you know add it to your and it shouldn't be as hard as it is right now there okay and then you can you know put it on you could you could end right there like I did that could be your flower right there or if you want to you can go further you can add a, some leaves or something or somehow attach a stem like maybe attach something to make a stem or you could atta attach it that way glue it on or whatever 
And so you could make a whole bouquet or just use them as embellishments or you could do it like you could instead of the the paper additions that I made you could add some kind of jam or okay so this is probably a bad color but you could you know you could do it okay I'll try and show you with this side so you know you could do the center with something like that instead or whatever okay so that's one idea and I'm sure that you can make them even better than than mine um, of course I was just doing it really quickly this is the first one this first one I did I just did as a as a test as a test template to see if it would work and then I was kind of happy with the results so then this one this one as I said I did I did to, to try and show you how I did this one and then this one today as you saw I, I did because I had to do it again so yeah these can be embellishments for projects these can, you could you could uh, put a, a magnet on the back if you have one It'd be a pretty little thing Okay, next idea is that you could use, oops, <laughs> sorry about that, is that you could use this as a mini shadow box frame. I guess it's not really a box because it's a circle, but you know, well, I suppose boxes can be in circles. Anyway, <laughs> okay, this is uh, just a piece of, from a magazine that I can cut up. So you can you see here that I've got people, but pretend these are, this is a photo of people that, you know, I actually know. They're not, but you know, we could pretend. And so you could say you like this guy. So trace it. Please. Okay, and remember that this is going to be like a little bit you have to make it a little bit smaller than what you traced because it's that was traced from the outside so anyway you you can cut your okay you want to do a much better job than this but because i was trying to hold it the way you could see better i kind of made a mess of it but anyway you would do a better job of cutting it and you can use this you could pop dot that or you can just put it right in and you have like a mini frame or you can do it well yeah I mean it's still the same idea but you can okay so I realize that these are not uh, the same but I mean you could use your caps so they would all be the same and be probably be better line them up set them up you could put some that are like that and you know put the thing and put the photo inside you could have some that are on top like that and kind of vary it you could have pictures of Preston and uh, Taylor and Jason and yourself and you know do a, a little family thingy and so these are kind of like a frame and if you put them this way you have an instant thing to you know to to put it on a on a hook or in the, on a nail you know you can hang it like that so um so that's if you put it like that anyway or and so you can do it like that um you can do a better job of cutting things than i do um <laughs> so that they actually fit and so yeah you get the idea you can do them all or you can do them varied like that and you can have them like you could even set them up or you could even tie um, you could even like set them up on a, a piece of cardboard or whatever you have 
and so that you can say this was, you know, not flimsy construction paper and it was like a nice straight board, you could glue them on the board so that they'd stay in the right place or whatever. And you could use your rice resin to, to fill that in and like you could, some of them could, could have like neat gems or something in them instead of a picture like something like that if it fit or you know uh, a ladybug or something like if if this were all the same person you you could do like age one two three you know every year or whatever and anyway you could just basically <laughs> the idea is that you can use this for uh, a frame and so yeah like every time I come I have one idea that spurs on 50 different other ideas and stuff so anyway uh, we'd be here forever if I told you about every one that pops in my head so so that's one idea and then you could do the same sort of the same idea where you have all your caps arranged on your your backing board, glued them on to make a type of uh, an abstract, like a pointillism or dots piece of art, or sort of like a mosaic pointillism idea. So you could do like a you know, you could shape it into like a, a cad or a heart or you know, whatever you like. Um, you could even, um, like, an, I don't want to do this, but if you wanted another variation on a flower, you could, like, bend it, bend the cap so that it's, um, distorted, like, uh, do I have pretend this is your cap. I know this is kind of a stretch, but <laughs> so pretend this is your cap. You can bend it. It's not easy to do, but you can bend it so that it looks kind of like that. And so that could be your petals. And then uh, one that's kept intact can be your uh, center, flower center. You could put letters in here. It's again like the same idea as this. You could put letters to spell person's name or a word that you really like you put in inside or outside you can um, vary it you could attach them like this or even like that but I would say like this would be better you could attach them that way and even put something pretty like crepe paper or a stick out flower or something you know probably bigger than that but you could you could glue it in between so that it sticks out like that and you could make yourself a, a garland like that you could figure out a way to to make yourself a hinge on this side and a closure on this side and make yourself like a little uh, locket or a, a pill container or something so that you could, you know, you could have a little handmade thingy like that. You could, you know, attach it on a, on a string. Not sure how to make that so that there's a good seal on it though. Well, I suppose like you could you could make a, and of course you could do it straighter than I just did, <laughs> but you could um, make yourself a ledge, probably not that big, so that they fit inside. I'm using cardboard or something like a cereal box or something, or a piece of duct tape or something. Anyway, okay, so there's that idea. 
you could had a bunch of your containers and you had like a, a box probably one of different kind of box than this the one that's not quite so deep or whatever but you could glue them glue the caps on the inside like that so that you could put your little beads or your little your confetti or something small that you're working with so that you could do that and if your box is like this you could actually make yourself another level like you could you could uh, make it bigger than that but you could have an, an like a shelf like thing on top caps and so you can have another layer of the caps so like that um, and then you can make yourself a cover you could decorate the box all nice and fancy you could make it even look like it's a little treasure chest um, and you could use you could use the caps as as a as feet for your your box so you know you could glue them on and you, you could have neat little feet for your box okay, so you could uh, use them as wheels on toy like you could you could uh, decorate it as a a little car or truck or whatever and and use the things to look like wheels and again they could sort of be your feet to hold your box up so <laughs> it's not wanting to cooperate for demonstration but anyway so they so yeah basically it would look like that but without me holding it And so yeah, you could do that. You could do a whole train and like each one could have a little compartment to put stuff in. So it could be a, like a neat little holding ground thing. And so you can, or they could, yeah, if you did that thing, you could make houses or whatever. Anyway, okay, so <laughs> I'm getting sidetracked. You could use this method. Okay, so hold on here. I have, you could use like different things, not just your caps, but you could use, um, I have a cap that is a neat shape. I don't remember what it came from, probably a juice bottle or something. So anyway, you can use fun foam and you can, I think you can do it without the, like you can place them in different ways and just kind of make yourself a neat little abstract thing and like you can use different things you just kind of press hard and it makes the indent um, so you could do that there's also a I'm gonna cut just a small piece show you this one so there's a, a method where you okay and this is going to get noisy but you basically heat it up and immediately immediately put something on there and it, it keeps the shape better than if you just do it without the without the heat now for some reason that didn't work the way it usually would but anyway basically what I'm saying is you can use them to make yourself neat background foam stamps I guess maybe I just didn't heat it long enough or something. I mean, it did work, but anyway. Or you can make, you can like attach them to, you could glue them to each other or even, where did it go? There it is. Even. 
put an elastic around them to hold them together. Okay, that's okay. That's not going to work. Anyway, <laughs> you can um, arrange them however you would like. Ink pad. Okay, I'm going to get blue fingers again. I finally started to get them clean. But anyway, so you can either use them like that or like that. And you can use them as stamps and it makes neat stuff happen. Okay, so it's just neat background stamps. And like if you had them attached to each other in different ways, it would make it, you know, basically it would make a bigger stamp and you know or you can just do it individually like I just did you could I don't know how interested or how much you like uh, <laughs> sea life or whatever but um, the especially the water bottle caps because they're kind of translucent or whatever and they're they're like not they're they're kind of shallow or whatever that word is. To me, they look kind of like a jellyfish. So you could use like pieces of wax paper with your that have have your painted papers on or whatever and you could make yourself jellyfish and you could hang them from the ceiling with uh, invisible thread or something and you could yeah, you could have a scene with jellyfish. Okay, that's a little bit silly probably, but there's an idea. You can attach them. You could, you could use e either some artist wire or a hanger or whatever you have and attach them in different, uh, on different strings. Basically, you could make yourself a, a mobile if you were to do the mobile thing, you could attach your pretty dangly things, just whatever you have, um, to it, and to each to each one, and you could just do that. You could use them as a tree ornament, like a Christmas tree ornament or something. Like you could decorate it with paint or a doodle. Oh, that would be neat. You could make a tiny doodle in on each one or inside each one. Like, you know, with the, I don't know what I did with the, oh, there they are. Pretend that's a doodle, you could do that. You know, you could use it as a frame for your doodles if they were tiny enough. And you could put like, gems or whatever like inside decorate the inside and attach a string to it and that could be a a a, a tree ornament and you could make it double sided actually if you were doing that this could be a that same idea again where you had where i had the little container that you hinged and stuff you could do something like this but instead of hinging it you could just do like a you could put washi tape or something like that around there and this could contain like a tiny little surprise like little candy or something that you know you would probably package that in a like a small bag or something and so when they when they take the tape off it would spill out so like you could have beads or like if you're gifting something to a, a crafty friend or whatever it could contain beads or candy or just anything really small and it you could have one of those tiny little christmas bows I wonder if i have one okay so i don't have the kind that i'm talking about but you know it's this this kind but they're tiny like they would fit perfectly over top here and it would make a neat little gift box for tiny little things like you know you could have 
a bunch of little things or you could you know if if you're gifting a, a little hair clip thing it would probably fit in there so you could put it in there or you could use that as the bow And so yeah, I just think it would make neat little gifts. Um, you could use this. See, pretty little gift. If your significant other is gifting you a ring, that would fit in there. That'd be a neat way to gift a ring. You could uh, cluster tiny little handmade flowers or handmade beads anyway all kinds of um, possibilities for for embellishing the top if this were a, a little homemade gift box I think it's speaking of a gift box like this this would that would be neat for like if you made yourself tiny little flowers like these um, you know, you could display them that way. There we go. I knew I had one somewhere. I just had to find it. Um, so yeah, see? Perfect. Perfect fit for a neat little gift box. You could also use that and make yourself a neat little, a neat little hanging basket thing where you could you could have tiny little you'd have little flowers in it or something I don't know or again it could be like a tiny little gift if you were gifting uh, sesame seeds or, or something like that for, for a snack or something you could put it in a little a little bag or something. Oh, they could be uh, game pieces. Like if you wanted to build a checkerboard or a like you could stick a, a sticker that says X and O and so you could do the tic-tac-toe pieces. You could uh, glue on pictures of uh, the, the pieces for a chess game so these could be your chess pieces. You could make, you could paint some in black and some in red, and they could be your checker pieces. You could, so yeah, they could be game pieces. Um, if you know your your uh, paper, your paper tubes uh, that you. Again, I'm just, I'm not, I didn't do that properly, but you know your 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 tubes where you do them like that, and then you. Uh, you build stuff with it, like baskets or trays or whatever. Well, you could do the same idea. You could glue these together and and use these as your as your basket or tray. Okay, you you recently got a jelly plate, so you could do similar to the stamp idea I was showing the the foam stamp idea I was showing you earlier. You could use this with your jelly plate. You could you know make neat marks on uh, in your paint. You could use these with paint as stamps also. Um, you could even see what that pretty ridge does, like if you dip it in paint and do the... What does it do if you dip it in in uh, ink and make a mess of your fingers and... I should, you know, take my own heed, heed my own warning and wear gloves for this, but... See, ooh, see, that's cool. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. That's cool. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, wow. Okay, so these make, these are neat mark makers. But again, if you're going to use your stays on ink and you have a problem with that, like I do, you want to wear gloves. But uh, I guess I'll be okay. <laughs> so, um,. Yeah, let me show you that up close. That is cool. That makes really cool marks. Okay, so you could do that. Showed you everything on my 
scrap attack. Um, but so yeah, there you, there are a few ideas. Uh, probably the most useful one is the is the stamp one, but that only like uses one or two really. But anyway, um, I hope that some of that was good. Oh, and you could use it. You could use it as like a a stand for like a mini display thing on like your your Halloween table or your seasonal display table you could like you could have appropriate things like if you had this is kind of silly but like even if you had like a, a what are they called a candy kiss or something you could put, you could glue it on there and and use it as a display you could make yourself like little towers and you could even make them like uneven or whatever and and I'm putting paint uh, ink all over myself again so you could make towers and uh, you know have them uneven and and you could display your like a, a butterfly is not really appropriate for a Halloween thing but anyway you could like if you anyway if you have something like tiny and you want to display oh there there like this um, that yeah it doesn't necessarily have to be for Halloween or whatever but yeah so you could have it to display a, an adorable little bug or something and then you could you know you could hide little like yeah if, I don't know if you do like Easter egg hunts or something like that, but you could hide little tiny little eggs or something's in like inside like you could put the the caps all over all around the house or wherever and you could hide the little thing or the little note or whatever and then they could find the caps and then retrieve the like the the egg or the whatever. So anyway, hope I hope that some of that was inspiring at least. Like even if you don't want to use any of the ideas that I gave you, hopefully what when I was showing you it kind of triggered an idea for something that you might want to do with it. Um, and if not, I still had fun doing this video for you. So there you go. Oh. And I guess I kind of forgot that one. Um, you could also use them to make letters like with them themselves, kind of like this. So this to me looks like an I. So you could, you know, you could write letters with that, like, you know, make a sign or something. Like, you know, write the word imagine or idea or dream or art or you know whatever your favorite words are you could build them up like that and like even decorate e each one of them to make it you know embellish them and stuff so yeah okay again I hope you got something out of this yeah that's it for now